This is KE6VRK. Let's tune up an, a, another JPOL. And this JPOL is for GMRS service. So I'm going to tune it to around 464 megahertz. And I'm going to show you the process on this one. This one is a little bit shorter JPOL than the other one. And the connector is a little bit different. As you can see from the camera, but it still works the same way. And I'm going to do this and demonstrate something else for you. That's very interesting principle of JPOL, principle of JPOLs that you can see using this antenna analyzer. I'm not going to touch the block. I'm going to touch this part again, right over here. Okay, let's see where we are at. So right now we are at, I'm going to adjust the frequency to around 464 and look at our match. Now I'm going to move this down a bit. I'm going to keep adjusting it. That is a good match. We're at 50 ohms and we're just under 1.5 on the SWR. And here is what we see on a nice LCD screen. 1.4 and we are at 50 ohms. You can see where the blue is and the SWR. So let's see where this resonates. I'm going to use the same thing, the automatic sweep setting. And let's take a look at where this antenna resonates at. What we're going to do is that range was too wide. What I'm actually going to do is change the center like we did last time on the other video. Let's change it up a little bit. 464. Actually the band goes up. Let's go down. When you're not sure, you can move it up a little bit. Oh, there we go. There's room. Okay, so here's 460. We'll put it around the same thing, 465. And what I'm going to do is run a sweep. I'm going to run the frequency, and let's see where it actually will resonate. There it is. You see it on the bottom. That is an acceptable match. So 464 is really good. 463 is good, 462. Yeah, that is a really, really good match. Now here's an interesting principle. I'm going to touch the bottom of the J-pole right over here, and I'm going to run an automatic scan so I'm going to the trick to this is you turn off the graph and I'm just going to run a sweep so I'm going to touch it and as you can see it doesn't affect the match that's the great thing about the J-pole it will not affect the match. If I touch the elements, and you can see the graph where it works. If I touch the elements, such as, if I touch the elements such as right here or here on the J-Pole, it really affects the match. But over here it does not affect the match. So that is our current graph of this antenna. So if I turn off the graph, 
that is our match at 464 and according to the chart that match was really good for 464.0, 464.5, around there. The matches are really good. I'll show you the meter again. As you can see, we're at 50 ohms. And look at the match, it's really good. So this is a great meter. And this is the CAA 500 Mark II by Comet. Remember, 73s and if you like the video, feel free to give us a hands up and a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel as we'll be posting a lot of videos on antenna building and a lot of instructional videos on using different types of ham radios. 73s from KE6VRK.